Hey there, just doing a quick walk around so you can see the status of the project. It is looking fantastic. Uh, so all of the walls are done painted, the ceiling is painted. Um, I've got the uh, light controller inverter for the uh, pathway lights that we have outside. Um, I've got the, all the covers for everything. Um, anything that I sort of need to interact with, like outlets or switches, I have the diamond plate on it. And anything that I don't need to interact with, I have faced with the blank. Uh, I painted them to match the wall so they just kind of blend in. Um, for now, everything is just kind of shoved up against the wall. Uh, so I don't have, uh, I'm planning on replacing these shelving units with something a little nicer. But you know, for now, it's working pretty well. Uh, lots of open space now, so I can finally get back to parking a car here. Uh, let's see what's going on. So, so next up on the list is lighting. Right now, we have that light. Uh, that's part of the garage door opener. And then a single uh, 100 watt LED light bulb, which is not a lot of light for a garage. Uh, at least if you're trying to do work in it. So now we're gonna add some lights. It's gonna be a lot of lights. It's gonna be really bright in here. I went with a light colored wall and you know a white ceiling so that we have a lot of you know reflected light around so it stays bright in here. But now we're gonna add an insane amount of lumens <laughs> to a two-car garage. Uh, so it should be very, very bright in here. In fact, it's going to be potentially too bright in here. So let's get started on that. So let's go ahead and take a look at the lighting setup that I plan on having in the shop. Um, here's a little diagram. So the idea is that we're going to have a big U-shaped set of lights. There's gonna be nine of them. Now all the lights are going to be daisy chained uh, in this U shape, starting from here in the middle. Uh, so what that means is that we're going to have three different kinds of lights. We'll have the one in the middle that will branch out to both sides. Uh, we'll have all of these uh, six guys here that are daisy chained. They have to have power come in and out the sides. And then the two guys at the end will uh, only have to receive power from one side and they won't have to pass it on. So that is what we've got right here. We've got this uh, this little base. Uh, this light has a through hole here in the bottom and then has one on either side. Uh, then these six lights. I've got the original power leads still connected uh, and I've stripped the insulation off and cut the power connector off and then I've marked the hot wire and then these two will be the ends so I didn't have to drill a hole in them I didn't have to put any uh, connector on them and uh, they're pretty much all wired and ready to go at this point uh, except yeah, actually, this one here, I, I don't think I'll ever have to open it up again once, uh, once I get it in there. Well, I guess I will when I bolt it to the ceiling. So, uh, so now I'm going to go and start putting connectors on all of these. So the idea here is that, let's see, this one is daisy chained from this one. I will have these three wires, and they will go into the connector down there and feed all the way through down here. And uh, the ground wire, I will put a little U connector on, or uh, not a U connector, a little uh, round connector piece here, and put that on the ground wire, and then that will screw in to the base here that has uh, the ground wire, you know, from the next one down the line. Um, then the power leads here will connect to the same power leads as incoming. So effectively the entire the entire set of nine will all share a common uh, ground, neutral, and hot wires. 
Um, so it's essentially every light in this array is running in parallel, which is the standard way of doing lighting uh, in the house. So that's what I will start working on now. While I'm running all these lights through the assembly line process here, let's talk about specs and compare this to some other options. First, let's talk about cost. Each light fixture is $13. Each bulb is about $12. After some miscellaneous connectors, we're looking right under $40 each or $360 total for all nine lights. As far as light output is concerned, each bulb puts out about 2,300 lumens or 4,700 for each fixture, which altogether is 42,000 lumens. For comparison, I was looking at a light called the Big Ass Light, which costs $400, but it only puts out 13,000 lumens, so I didn't think that was a very good value at all. These days, you can get a decent LED shop light at Costco that already has the pass-through power cord for about 20 bucks, and I think that's a pretty awesome deal if you ask me. If that was available when I did this project, I probably would have gone with those. What I just did was branch off an electrical wire from the existing light bulb in the garage, and I'm running it over to where the first light will be. The wiring for everything in this video is incredibly simple and straightforward. Hot to hot, neutral to neutral, and ground to ground. That's it. I do checks frequently. Every time I get a new light wired in, I test it out, and if it doesn't work, I check the wiring. This makes sure that I don't get ahead of myself and have a bunch of connections to check all at once. The fixtures are all attached using drywall anchors, and they go up really quick. I got all of them installed over two evenings after work.
In the next video, I'm gonna add some final insulation to the garage door and finish up. And in the next few episodes, I'll do a review of the garage door opener and go in depth with how to convert the lights used in this project over to LED. If that sounds good to you, and you made it this far, I hope you'll subscribe and follow along. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.